Reality Checks. That engine has been designed to run on something called bioethanol, fuel made from plants. And if you use that rather than petrol, the power output remains the same, but you get fewer carbon dioxides coming out of the back. Sounds wonderful, if you believe in this carbon malarkey. But there are a couple of drawbacks. First of all, there are 8,850 petrol stations in Britain, but only 20 of them sell bioethanol. And secondly, when you're running on maize, it's not what you'd call economical. Honestly, it gets through veg faster than Paul McCartney's ex. The Super Sports then. It's all much as you'd expect. Very fast, very heavy, and at speed, about six miles to the gallon. But don't be fooled by the headlines. This is spooky. I've got an automatic gearbox, an air conditioning, satellite navigation, and it's very quiet. It's just like a normal Bentley. But look at the way it changes direction. This car is like an elephant with the reflexes of a water boatman. And if you're watching in Poland and you don't know what a water boatman is, it's like an Evo 10, it really is. And if you're watching in Ethiopia and you don't know what an Evo 10 is, what I mean is it does things rather well. No, not well. Why did I say well? Oh, God. Then you have the brakes, which can tear your face off. Ready? Now. To make the Bentley a racetrack screamer, it's been fitted with carbon ceramic discs, new suspension bushes, and different anti-roll bars. Though when I say different, I mean, of course, enormous. They've also reprogrammed the four-wheel drive system so that now most of the power goes to the back. Imagine then that if you mash the throttle into the carpet halfway around the corner, it will 